Alrighty, well, good morning, everybody. Uh, time once again for my pseudo cast, and uh, and and keeping with the uh, tradition of uh, doing like the uh, sounds of the planets and stuff. This time around, it's gonna be the sun. Um, and uh, and, uh, and if I read this correctly, um, technically, in space, there are no sounds, or at the very least, um. Oh how, did, oh, how did he explain it? Um, it do, if it does make a sound, because uh, space is a vacuum, there is no way for those, uh, no way for those sound waves to make its way to planet Earth where we can hear them. Or to, there's no way for it to bring it, bring it to the human ear so that he can hear it. So, so, um, the way they, the way these satellites work, or the way they pick up the sounds, they, it, they don't just like stick a microphone on a satellite and boom, kick it out there in space or anything like that. No. Um, what the what these planets do do is they give off like something like electro electromagnetic waves, and then um, the oh, the satellite sound imagery, um, something or another. But uh, it, it there's a there's a thingamajig around these satellites that somehow translate the elect these electromagnetic pulses into sound but like i said it's a really it's a really complicated for lack of a better word uh scientific method that it has of uh how can i put it kind of the way um kind of the way digital music works <clears throat> the the digital music in and of itself is just a bunch of ones and zeros but um the the software the the software that's also used along with this digital music is what um it's what um actually translates translates all these ones and zeros into music. Um CDs work the same way. Um records sorta of, kinda of work the same way. You know, like vinyl records, it I think it's just basically a whole bunch of different types of grooves and stuff. Little little microscopic notches and whatnot and the the needle. That gets uh, the needle that gets dragged across these records um, translates all the grooves and notches and whatnot into sound, into sound that we can hear. Um, I guess these uh, these satellites that uh, that pick up sound from around the planets kind of work the same way too. Again, space in and of itself, there is basically totally silent. And if there was some, and if there was a way that a planet could transmit any kind of sound. But and because space is a vacuum, there's no way for that sound to reach us. We wouldn't be able to hear it at all. So, again, the way the the satellites that uh, pick up the sounds from these planets kind of work the same way uh, digital music works and the way records work. So, it translates all the electrical electromagnetic stuff into sound. So, so that's kind of how that works. And before I continue on, I'm going to crack open a can of V8 Energy Pomegranate Blueberry. So get ready for some pops. Alrighty, so here is the music of the sun. Sound testing this right now. Oh, and this is just a one minute clip. It's the best I could find. Um, same problem I had yesterday. Some of these uh, YouTube videos, they stick like dark ambience and ASMR bullshit in there. And um also what you're seeing here is uh is a uh, is a full screen image that was on the wiki. Again, I couldn't find a I couldn't I couldn't find a YouTube video that satisfied all the conditions like like having a perfect image like this and having um and having uh, actual true uh, planet sounds again this, a lot of these videos have like extra dark ambient or ASMR but I get luckily this time I didn't find any uh, symphony orchestra bullshit so that's kind of a good thing 
Oh, and I learned something else, and uh, I might be wrong about this. Uh, assuming I understood, I understood the wiki correctly. This is actually this is not the correct color of the sun. This is basically technicolor. Um, it's basically the sun with orange food coloring. It doesn't actually look like lava. And let me see if I can. Uh, and I believe, if, again, if I understand this correctly, this is actually what the sun looks like. It's just it's a white it's a it's a white hot ball. And um. And I guess I wasn't on here, or I might be. But yeah, I know one um, one photo, one photograph of the sun, it showed like a really tiny black dot, like kind of in the um, just a, a bit lower left of center here, it was actually Mercury, the smallest planet in the solar system, but it, apparently it ain't in here. But yeah, like like I said, I, if I read it correctly. This is what the sun actually looks like. It's just a white hot ball. But and this is uh I mean the sun as we know it, as we're as what we're all used to is what we all grew up to think think that it looked like. This is actually basically just uh colored orange. So Isn't science fun? <laughs> I'm going to say close enough on the volume. But like I said, this clip is actually about a minute long. But, um, so this is just, uh, the, the sounds being looped over and over. So, um, but anyway, otherwise, uh, last night did it again. I didn't do a huge amount of stuff. Last night's stream, though, was pretty interesting. I played some Final Fantasy XIV, something I haven't done in a long time, um, and I think that I think I said this on yesterday's cast. But one of my regulars, um, I guess she um, she's wanting to run some new people through dungeons, but she didn't have enough for a full party, so she asked me to go in as a DPS. But unfortunately, mom didn't show up, or at least not until not until later on when I was, for the most part, starting to wind down my stream. So, I, I basically, I, I basically, with all due respect, was, um, no, I forgot what I was going to say. Or, I basically got stood up. Yeah, that, that's what I was looking for. So, um, so probably, uh, so probably going forward tomorrow, I'll probably just keep, um, I'll just keep streaming Dragon Ball Fighters. Unless, uh, unless you, like, Unless she like comes by or something and asks me, you know, asks me to run some dungeons with her or something like that. And if I'm not too busy at the time, then yeah, I'll go ahead and uh, break off the Dragon Ball Fighter stream and help her. But and and tomorrow, uh, sometime tomorrow, um, a repair man's coming in to look at my refrigerator or gonna try to repair it. But um, the landlady didn't say exactly what time, so which. Which kind of bugs me. I hate it when this happens. It's a good thing. Uh, it's a good thing I'm off Friday night. So again, who knows when he's gonna show up? But, but uh, oh, and that um, towards the end of my stream, a whole bunch of my old regulars showed up. People that I hadn't seen in a long time, they all dropped by too. But uh, I got a feeling they're um, they're probably uh, they're probably for me to keep playing Final Fantasy fourteen. But again, I'm I'm burnt out on that game just from playing it for so long, and I'm probably gonna be repeating myself here from from what I said on my previous cast. But uh, I haven't consistently played a fighting game in like 30 years, you know, back since the 90s. So I'm kind of a uh, I'm I'm a bit overdue. So this is pretty much what I've been doing nowadays, just fighting games. So yeah, but like I said, um, but if one of my regulars 
wants me to help run dungeons with her, then yeah, I'll probably go ahead and break off and help her, but until then, I'll just keep playing fighting games. So. But yeah, I think, um, all the guys that, all the guys that dropped by yesterday are probably going to be disappointed. Because, as, sorry to sound like a broken record, but I am burnt. So. I won't be playing, uh, Final Fantasy XIV unless I have a good reason to. So. But yeah, it was just a, it was kind of a reunion of sorts. Oh, um, and I watched, uh, episode 9 of Dragon Ball. My God. <laughs> Boy, this one here is, uh, Surprisingly, it was pretty tame compared to some of the other episodes I watched, where it's all pedophilia and you know, Bulma, the girls all perverted and stuff, strip teasing and whatnot. All this in a PG show. Well, they. I should say it's. I should say it's the writers. The writers are just a bunch of pedos and pervs. I mean, I. On one, I mean, on one end, he. The kind of stuff that they're showing in these, they're they're writing in these shows shouldn't be in a PG in a PG program. But on the other hand, it's it's, it's almost like a rare gem, you know. Because I think um, these days they're probably a hell of a lot stricter on what's considered PG than um than how the things were back in the 80s. They must have uh, PG back then must have been a lot looser. Than they are than they are in this day and age, so so yeah, still gotta still gotta keep watching them though. I mean, I'm trying to I'm also trying to learn a bit a little bit of the background, you know, behind the game that I'm playing, Dragon Ball Fighters. You know, it's a 2D fighter ver or it's a Dragon Ball Z flavored 2D fighter. So you know, I'd like to watch some of these episodes and you know learn a little bit about the history of the game I'm playing. You know, learn some of the lore. Oh, and I finally found, uh, I found some, uh, online music software, or I should say some, uh, just, uh, a music maker that you can use in your browser that I, uh, that I could actually use a keyboard for, because, um, all the other, uh, music softwares that I found out there, it's basically mouse only. All the musical notes have to be clicked. You have to point and click them, which is, I'm, I'm not, a, I'm not a big fan of. I've made a few songs with that kind of software, but it, it's just super tedious. But uh, the one I found now, um, it's not perfect. Like uh, it doesn't. Um, how can I put it? It's not very customizable. Um, it's. I'm trying to think. There's like a like an '80s keyboard equivalent. Like you can't. You can uh, you can you can play up. Uh, it, it has my like, for an example, it's got a, a snare drum. But you can't, you can't, or it's got like a snare snare one, snare two. But uh, you can't you can't adjust the pitch. You know you can't you can't adjust the tone of those drums. It's got a, uh, it's got a a guitar pluck, like dang. I mean, it's got that in there. It's got like five levels. It's like, dang, 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 you know, like that. But uh, that that's all you got, just those five pitches. But you can't, you can't customize those pitches. You can't fine tune it to exactly what you want, um, which is that's actually what I prefer. But but again, consider that you consider you know all the other music softwares that I've looked at are point and click only. I'll take what I can get. So, so yeah, so there might come a time where I might actually stream me using this. But again, the the recording part of it, it's I, I wish I, I wish I could remember what the name of it was. Here, let me let me go on my browser. I think I'm 
might have it. Yeah, it's called it's called Sampulator. S A M P U L A T O R, Sampulator. You know, you know, like like Simulator. This is Sampulator. Part sample, part simulator. Sample simulator, Sampulator. But yeah, it's about freaking time because I was chomping at the bit looking for, uh, you know, you know, some way to make music. But what I was using at the time was uh, point and click only, which again, it's very tedious to use. So, but with what I found now, Sampulator, it's not great, but it'll it'll do for now. I'll probably still keep uh, doing go Google searches and stuff like that, trying to find trying to find something that would be more customizable so um, but otherwise um, I don't really have much else um, I think I've said all the things I wanted to say so uh, but otherwise hey thanks for um thanks for dropping in and Thanks for tuning in and listening to me, everybody. I appreciate that. And I should be able to do another one of these tomorrow morning. So, but until then, bye for now, everybody. Take care.